Good morning, everybody. I'm Dr. Doug Vaughn, world-famous bariatric surgeon and author of 13 books. A couple more on the way. Uh, you might know me from my COVID video, How COVID Kills You. But uh, I quit doing COVID updates because I felt like I was just adding to the noise. People were just going to do what they're going to do. But uh, we're not over yet. And I, I want to remind you, we are into this a year. And globally speaking, we are worse off now than we were a year ago. If you put all the global numbers together. So that's why this is important. I want to start doing videos that may be a little bit more helpful. <laughs> That'll be a little bit shorter. You can share a clip uh, and maybe try to help people see the light. So today's topic is why coronavirus um, vaccinations, vaccines will not change your DNA. So first of all, comment if you know anybody who thinks that or they have said or they post or they share that um, that they won't take the vaccine because it's a DNA altering jab in the shoulder or whatever. Comment if you know anyone who is scared to get the vaccination because they think it's going to change their DNA. They don't understand it, right? So comment if that's you. And I want to give you the correct response. It's very simple, short video. Oh, yes, I've heard it. Craft exactly right, Irvin. Yes, Loretta. Yep. Okay. So here we go. All right. The reason why coronavirus vaccinations will not change your DNA is because they are made from messenger RNA. So I want to take you back to science class real quick. I'm going to try not to call you any nasty names today. I'm going to be good. But when you were in science class and if you were awake that day and you're talking about the cell structure, um, they usually the teacher would do something like an egg. Imagine a fried egg. You have the white part on the outside, then you have a circle in the middle, the orange circle, that's the yolk, right? You, you've seen this, you know what a fried egg looks like, right? And so the teacher would say, the, the, the whole thing is the cell, and inside the cell, the round circle, the yolk, is the nucleus of the, of the cell, the nucleus. And then there are all these other organelles outside, okay? So, tip number one, the DNA is inside the nucleus. It's like that movie, the calls coming from inside the house. Ah! <laughs> the DNA is inside the nucleus, all right? And what happens is, and yes, I know the DNA is your genetic fingerprint, blueprint, blah, blah, blah. But just like uh, a blueprint for a house, just because you have a blueprint doesn't mean you have a house. You have to have workers and foremen and concrete pourers and bricklayers and carpenters and all sorts of stuff, right? So it takes a lot of organelles, a lot of people, a lot of things in order to, to make that DNA active. But that DNA is in the um, nucleus. So the fuck that the fuck, the fact that you think your DNA is so fucking important shows you like ugh, how really ignorant you are because the truth of the matter is most of your dna is actually not active at all i mean you could have a lot of alterations to your dna and some people do and it won't show up it won't matter because the only thing that matters is which genes are expressed expressed now so the genes that are expressed right they unwind open up and then they get transcribed uh, using some proteins, right? That move along and they, it's like a typewriter. You, you know, um, here's a good example. Have you ever worked in an office and you have a label maker, right? And so you want to label something, right? So <laughs> when I was a surgeon, I, um, my nickname was the Mighty Mighty. So I gave it to myself, the Mighty Mighty. So when they gave me my locker in at the hospital, when I changed into scrubs, um, you know, they put Dr. Vaughn on there, you know, and I showed up and they're like, we picked this locker for you, Dr. Vaughn, and, and put my name on it. And so I went to my office. I said, thank you very much. You know, and I went to my office and I got the label maker and I typed in the mighty mighty. All right. So the label maker is like your DNA. And then I hit print and the little tape comes out. Dee -dee 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 -dee. I hit the cut button, it cuts it off. Now there's this little strip label maker 
that says the mighty mighty on it. And I stuck that to my, my locker. So that little strip is like messenger RNA. Okay. That little strips messenger RNA. Now, why is this important? So that little messenger RNA script, it's, it's just a little, the little sticker, the little label. Okay. It hasn't done anything. It gets transported out of the nucleus. It goes out of the nucleus. So it's nowhere near your DNA. It doesn't go back into the DNA. It, it never goes back into the nucleus. Once it's out, then it gets translated into proteins. Okay. And that's the proteins are what um, makes it active. So now, so let's imagine I have this little sticker because that's my label maker. But if I try to stick it onto my locker, it just falls off. It's, you know, it doesn't work. So what I have to do is a third step, which is to peel off the back of the, 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 my label and then stick that to my locker. And then I have the final product. Similarly, your messenger RNA has to be transcribed, translated into protein language. And the protein is its final product, much like my sticker stuck to my label stuck to my locker is the final product that I'm after. Does that make sense? Okay. So what does this have to do with a vaccination? If you understand this and you understand that the Moderna vaccine and the Pfizer vaccine are messenger RNAs that are, um, it's the label, right? Like I was just using that analogy and it, it, it trans, it translates the, um, spike protein. All right. That's, that's specific to the coronavirus. That's important. You have to know because some, some assholes ask that question too. So it's specific to the spike protein on the specific, on SARS-CoV-2, this particular virus that's causing this pandemic, the SARS-CoV-2. Okay. So, um, the vaccine has this messenger RNA inside a, a lipid bilayer. It's basically a soap bubble. Basically it gets into your cell. All right. And it never gets into the nucleus. Okay. Messenger RNA is out in the cytoplasm. It will never, ever, ever, ever interact with your DNA. So the fact that this idiot keeps saying, oh, I'm not taking that DNA altering shot in the arm. You're an idiot. I mean, you, you failed math in a science class. You failed basic biology. It does not go into your, D, uh, your nucleus. Messenger RNA has no capacity, no way. It's impossible for, for a piece of messenger RNA to make its way into the nucleus. Dr. V, what if something weird happened and it made its way? It cannot. There are no mechanisms in the cell that will allow or transport or do anything to bring messenger RNA back into the nucleus. So the reason why these vaccines will not change your DNA is because it never, ever will go into your nucleus. And people get all confused by this. And so you spin off all these conspiracy theories. But And if you're someone who buys into these conspiracy theories that are easily explainable with science, what we know with science, then I'm going to tell you, I don't want to be your friend. I don't want you on my page. I don't want you to do anything. Because if you think that way, then then there are there's a very good chance that you think that way about other areas of your life. You think that way about your job. You think that way about your kids. You think that way about wife beating. You, you think that way about like drinking way too much, drinking and driving. You think that way about, I mean, like, it's just, if you can't, if you are willing to keep propagating this idea that somehow these vaccines will change your DNA in the face of very good, like scientific, like, it's just science. It's just, this is how it works. Uh, then I know you've got other areas of your life that you're making terrible judgments on. Trust me, I know. Okay? So, you get the vaccine. It The messenger RNA makes its way into your cytoplasm, into, into the white part of the egg, motherfucker. Not the yellow part, not the nucleus. In the white part of the egg. And then it has proteins there that then translate it, read it off, and it makes that spike protein uh, that everyone knows about that's on the coronavirus, the, the SARS-CoV-2, this specific virus, because coronavirus is a family of viruses. This specific virus, SARS-CoV-2, it makes the spike protein. And then that protein, because this is how cells work, 
that protein then gets moved out and displayed, displayed on the cell surface. And then, and, and then um, certain cells will come in there, the B lymphocytes, T cells, T killer cells, will come there and sample, sample that, um, that protein, that spike protein, whatever is transcribed. And it will see, say, oh, this is mine. This belongs to me. You're safe. Or it'll say, alert, alert. It's the bartender, right? <laughs> you ever been at a bar and one guy, there's always that one guy, right, who causes trouble and he gets his ass like thrown out of the bar by the bar by the bouncers. And somehow the bouncers, even though they see thousands of people a week, the bouncer remembers this guy. And when the guy comes back the next time, bouncer's like, uh-uh, I know you. I recognize you. I'm throwing your ass out. Throws his ass out again, right? <laughs> and um, so what happens is you have the spike protein that shows up. And your, 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 your B cells um, take a look at it and say, oh, no, I don't recognize you. You're foreign. And so then it starts to form these antibodies and creates this big reaction that now recognizes like this particular spike protein and says, you're not my type. And then it proliferates other cells. Um, the one I'll focus on is memory B cells, right? So memory B cells. And um, then the antibodies die off, right? After a few months, they die. The antibodies need to die off. You can't have antibodies in your all the time. Otherwise, you'll have self-attacking antibodies, right? That's autoimmune diseases. So then, so, so you got the vaccine. It creates these memory B cells, right? It's the bouncer recognizes this is a bad person. So now you've been fully vaccinated. You go uh, hang out at the bar. You think you're, you know, you're, 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 you're a Mac daddy with the chicks, right? And, um, and, the, and you think you're going to go, but then the bouncer sees you and says, no, no, you're a bad dude. He throws your ass out. So if, if you catch the coronavirus, if, you're vir if, you're, if your body comes in contact now with SARS-CoV-2, and the SARS-CoV-2 makes its way into your type 2 pneumocytes, right, your lung cells because it's a respiratory illness, and it samples that spike protein and puts it out on the cell surface. And your memory B cells come and says, oh, no, I recognize you. You're that dude that caused trouble. And it sounds the alarm. The memory B cells automatically start making antibodies that causes a huge immune response and destroys that infected cell. Right? That's how vaccines work. You're trying to prime your body's immune system to recognize this illness sooner. And I'll do a video later about like, why get the vaccine if it doesn't keep you from catching COVID? It's fucking statistics and numbers. It's 94% effective. I know someone who got the vaccine and they still got COVID. That's what 94% effective means. It means there's going to be roughly 6% who still catch it. But of the 6% who caught it, none of them got hospitalized and none of them died. In other words, the vaccine was 100% effective in keeping your sorry ass alive. That's why this is important to get vaccinated. And that's how we will crush this pandemic is because we, you know, we um, give people enough immunity. We vaccinate enough immunity that before this virus has a chance to spread, it's killed off. In our, in our, that's called herd immunity. Does that make sense? So the messenger RNA always stays outside of the nucleus. It will never interact with your DNA. It's impossible. It will not happen. A hundred thousand percent. All right. That's my talk today. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, I will be back every day in the month of May. I'll talk some COVID. I'll talk some economics. I'll talk some money, finances. I'll show you some gardening. Uh, but I feel like there's been too much vaccine hesitancy. So for those first few days, I'm going to talk pretty heavy about COVID. Cool? As always, I will edit this down, put it up on my YouTube channel. Please do me a favor. Hit a share button if you find have found this helpful. And please share my YouTube channel when I get it up. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.